Hello everyone and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 48 Swirl where we do reviews on just about everything we can use when it comes to entertainment news. Now I think I rhymed y'all for a little moment. <laughs> anyway, you know, or you might hear me go, <laughs> Yes, I'll always love you. Yes, okay, I thought I'd just give that to y'all today while I was rhyming and cutting up, okay? But I have been wanting to work on a story, and you know, like I said, I've been backlog. Everything has come and gone, meaning the holiday season and, you know, the hustle and bustle, trying to do this, that, and the third, and just catching back up with life and, and, and uh, trying to do your normal everyday things and trying to, you know, be the best you can for yourself, for your family members, and for everybody out there in the world, okay? So, and you know, I've been uh, suffering with some gastritis here. I've been going to appointments with my 80-year-old mom, and, you know, it's just life just catching up with you. So, I, I've been having a lot of backlog and haven't been able to pay attention and get these salacious, scandalous tantalizing, a tantalizing story out for you guys that I've been wanting to get to. Because I still have a page full of uh, commentary I've been wanting to do on certain issues and certain uh, articles. And I just haven't been able to. But, Lord, this has been weighing heavy on my mind with this old ass woman, Madonna. Now, you know, we got into her. We got into the uh, young Madonna. We got into the middle age Madonna. And now we're into to the old Madonna. I think she got some sadistic, satanic ways about her, you know, as she keeps growing a little older. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. That's just my opinion on things and stuff of that nature but i'm like what is she doing with this 25 year old boy somewhat of a man because you know after 18 you do a crime that's felony wise he going to jail but you, we all kind of know with our black ones they tend to be uh in their teens and still get prison time sentenced that's just how the scales have tilted and done you know went more so unfavorable unfavorable uh, unfavorably uh towards the people of color or minorities or the brown tone melanin people okay but anyway I said this to say this. What the hell is Madonna doing with a 25-year-old? That just disturbs my spirit. We talking about 36 years of difference. Uh, I mean, is she just flowering him, making him become a man in a sense of deflowering a woman of some sorts? I get that I got that good. At least he's not out there with the prostitutes or whatnot. But... I just don't understand because she can't teach him how to be a man because it takes another man to um, a real man uh, to have some type of spirituality, uh, hopefully, you know. To believe in another force and just science, meaning the Lord, of course. But, you know, it's neither here nor there. But a person that has spirituality, a person that has experience, have life learning lessons, um, have some compassion, some empathy about themselves, be able to share sympathy. Just a well-rounded individual. You know, if you haven't experienced life through its totality or your totality, you know, get some education behind Behind the scenes. Educate yourself. Be a well-rounded individual. You know what I'm saying? Now, she teaching him all that and financing him as well. The better lucrative sides of life. But also giving him life lessons. I got no problem with that. But if you're trying to say you want to make this young man your man. Your uh, lover. Your companion. I don't know, because as a mother, and I'm just coming from a mother's perspective. I'm not coming from being a single woman or, or any of that dynamics. I'm just talking about a mother talking to another mother. All the mothers get down in them comments, and y'all chime in on what I'm saying here. And, and give me some understanding if I'm viewing this all wrong, or I'm just viewing this one-sided. But I be damned if I'm going to be happy about my child. That's 25 dating a 36-year-old man. That's almost that's almost 20. That's, that's 40 years difference, but 20 years in between. Like, damn, what you going to teach her? You know what I'm saying? How to be a thought? How to be your slave? How to be your concubine? You know what I'm saying? What can this man take? But, you know, if all, it has always, and we have always as a society, gave men the rights to date younger women, you know. 
And now, when they're getting older, older, they still want to date younger women. You know what I'm saying? Younger, younger women. Like, what could you do but only have companionship? Because you can't be getting it up no more. And even if they try to do royal oils and this and that, the S&Ms on you, you, it might send you to the parallel gates or the, the, the sites of hell, depending on how you lived your life, okay? But I mean, I'm not coming from if some people get down there and say, well, she just racist. And nah, because believe it or not. I have grand uh, uh, well they descendants now or they're deceased but I have grandfathers who were white I have cousins that have married in the family who are white hell I have siblings that look damn near white cousins as well okay so it's not a white black issue because I don't get down like that my mother and my dad have raised me to be open minded and see every walks of life they instilled in me the heart the goal of what a true love is all about what true love is manifested in when you're talking about Jesus Christ and the love for everybody you know what I'm saying so I'm definitely well endowed on what I feel about an individual you can be Asian you can be an Eskimo you can be white you can be black you can be that's an Indian okay I might say any Mexican Cuban I, it, it doesn't matter okay Italian I can go on and on and on, but it doesn't matter. It's just how you treat me, how you make me feel as an individual, and how you take up for me in those detrimental types, environments, and situations, okay? That's how I call myself, whether I'm going to dish you or whether I'm going to be riding for you, okay? Because like they say, age ain't nothing but a number, color ain't nothing but a number, race ain't nothing but a number, or or, or a thing to be looked at, okay? But I said this to say this. I'm just coming from a mother's perspective, can you do for my child at 25 years old and you are 61 and you talking about you in love with them i don't i i mean i I, my thing would be would my child even look at you that's 25 if you did not have all the money all the prestige all the fame all the connections in the industry what could you not do for my child if you, what could you do for my child if you didn't have all that probably nothing probably my child wouldn't even look at you okay because i'm like mm, i'm just not understanding that so i need more people to get in here and chime to tell me how they feel about their child if if, if it was their man child a male child dating, I don't care what race they is, but a 61-year-old. How would you feel about that? Now, I have no problems with a 50-something-year-old, early 50s, dating somebody 61. Or I wouldn't even give it that. I'd probably say maybe late 40s, okay? Because y'all still in that same gender, not gender, but I guess it would say... Y'all, have, y'all could have, if... My 25-year-old was like, how they say, an old soul or whatever. thought about things in a more respectable and well-thought-out, planful type mindset. Then, you know, yeah, because some people or some uh, younger people, they do act young. They haven't put all their toys away. They still want to play. They still want to do this. They want to do that. They're not grounded. They're not solid yet. So I understand that they're they're going through their formative years of trying to find themselves. But you do have people or young adults that tend to have old souls and they think about stuff totally different in their age group bracket that you think they would have already not have found that yet but it's like they're living before their time so i give those select few of people that are like that i was one of those people i never really wanted to hang around people my age i always look to hang around somebody 10 20 years older than me or not maybe 20 but uh not as I didn't date them now. I said I like hanging around them. I like getting their wisdom because you know it kind of freaked me out. Like you know, I'm the young. I'm still vital. I, I wanna you know I don't wanna hurt them in other words. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna put too much on them. And then I'd be looking at you know. And then I was kind of fearful that what my parents would think if I was dating somebody, uh, 15, 20 years. You know, my senior. You know, I, I didn't want to go through that either. It was tantalizing, and I was tempted to do some things with some older people. But I was like, no. You know, maybe they were serious because maybe they didn't have anybody but i knew me you know i'm still like want to do a lot of things that most settled uh well-adjusted older uh individuals would not probably want to partake in and they'll be trying to grow me up too fast to their level and that just didn't look good and don't even really look good when you have somebody that's in their 
fifties and sixties acting like they're back in their twenties and even dressing like they're back in their twenties. Now that's just the, the uh, that's another whole video right there. So it's like you missed your childhood, so you're trying to go back, or you missed your younger years, so you're trying to go back in your older years. I ah, just don't match. It's just like the eyes of Brother Ron, eyes up there throwing back a throwback jersey and all these gold chains he was having, and he damn near six some years old himself. And this I think it was like four years ago I saw him like that, or maybe it was maybe seven years. This is before R. Kelly had got into all these scandalous brought out to the forefront of what he was doing to younger women that he shouldn't be messing with anyway but um yeah they tried he tried to reboot ron Isaac's career and he was just doing some dressing apparels that just wasn't quite kosher with me <laughs> you know what i'm saying like brother you don't pass that time you need to float back up and get into them nice suits with them fedora hats and that cane and going on and rock your sexiness until you six feet under okay baby because that's where we at with you right now but just all to say this and that the third i want to know what y'all think about this now i'm going into pops popularstars.com don't know how reputable reputable they are but you know when you come to Dev chanel's four days world we family we sit down and talk about things uh, that are happening out in social media and just life itself and we don't really want to go into what president trump is doing over there you know having missile strikes at the ukrainian people because you know, you can only say so much on YouTube for they strike your channel, for they give you, you know, where you're not getting monetized on one of your videos and this, that, and third. And we need to be flowing freely with our income, our secondary income on this YouTube channel. Okay, so we're going to kind of stay away from it. But you know how I always kind of feel about um, President Trump. You know what I'm saying? And that's all enough said. You know what I'm saying? That's all enough said. And and the things that he's getting with. Cause hell, I thought we tried to impeach him and we impeached him. What's, I mean, I know it's still going through a process. But damn, why it's taking so long? We got Bill Clinton out of there when everybody wanted to get rid of Bill because he didn't inhale. And he did not have se sexual relationships with that woman. Okay. Per with Hillary in the room. We got to claim that. Okay. Wink, wink. But anyway, just is what it is. Okay. We got rid of him. I forgot the other person we had got rid of. But it just is what it is. Why we ain't got rid of him, y'all? Yeah. Ah, he's just getting on my nerve. He messing with, um, what was he messing with before? Stocks. Bonds. Giving to the rich. Giving them, um, tax cuts. And now, he probably going to start back if we let him stay in now. He's going to be working on Social Security. God knows. I'm tw What am I now? Damn, I'm, I'm 25 now. <laughs> I'll be 52 in January this year, guys. Guys, so 22nd. Yes, hook me up, okay? Hook me up with all the love, the support. Just flood my channel with happy birthdays because that's all I ask. You all don't have to give me monetary gifts. I don't get down like that. I want you to be safe. I want you to be flourishing. I want you to keep your money, all right? And how you can do it, uh, support me is to keep subscribing to my channel, keep sharing my videos, and we're going to blow up together, okay? That's how you're giving back to me. Don't cost a thing. Don't want no money from you all. Just want some. Uh, subscriptions and for you to share my videos that's all I asked okay and that's all we got to do over here at the house but anyway yes uh, so we're gonna get on into this um, article that let me see popular superstars.com had put out of course it was on December 31st and it was another story about just their relationship that was floating around on social media as well as on popular superstars.com uh network but another one had come out which i'm going to be using this one is when madonna has gone over there and called herself meeting her uh boyfriend's parents and i'm like oh i bet that i would have loved to be a fly on the wall to try to understand that situation and sit in and see those facial express expressions and body language they had to be given off to madonna like you know and then you got some parents be like you know those old customary culture um parents like okay uh we're gonna give you our child but what are you gonna give us you know it's that culture thing where pre-arranged marriages are you know all that stuff in certain cultures um couldn't uh, couldn't work for me you know i don't want nobody selling me off to nobody thinking you know they knowing the best for me no because you don't know my feelings you don't know my understanding but you know you can't um get 
away from culture if that's the way you were raised and that's the way you wanted to live life. But I can't. But again, these younger generations, they breaking culture type issue. They don't. They don't want to be done like that. They want to be able to love who they love, be free to date outside their race if they want to. And I ain't got no problem with that. You know, it just is what it is. Everybody live their life to the fullest. Only one person can judge. Just the Lord Himself. Oh okay? God. Though you got many people out here judging folks, of course. I'm not one of them. I'm just giving you my opinion. You can take it for what it's worth or, you know, whatever. But I'm not saying, I'm not degrading you. I'm not putting a, 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 a law in place to, you know, uh, oppress you in any way. Just speaking my mind. And then I thought about, well, maybe she missed Tupac or something. Though this young man is not giving me Tupac, he's giving me uh, Bob Marley or uh, uh, somebody. I don't know, spiritual conscious type person. Um, he giving me, uh, what is that man's name? Uh, I can't think of it. Uh, maybe it'll come to me, but he's, he, he's not giving me Tupac. Tupac is a thug and a nice looking brother who is very well educated on the street way of thinking as well as educational purposes. Shit. Tupac could have been a professor and not even stepped in school not one time. Okay, because he hadn't had classes in certain institutions, universities, where they were studying Tupac's uh, career and his demeanor and how he was a, a force for the black community. And, you know, how he tried to be his own little commander-in-chief and, you know, try to outlaw certain things or discriminatory things against black people. You know what I'm saying? Trying to kind of affiliate him with the Black Panther, but a new movement, of course. But I'm like... This brother right here is her backup dancer, and his name is uh, Allah Malik, Allah Malik, something like that, Williams. And I'm like, hmm, he's a dancer from Madonna, and you know she can get kind of raunchy in her presentations of her concerts or whatnot. Uh, so I don't understand. Is she trying to uh, get back with Tupac by using this uh, Malik guy to fill the position. I don't know. Because you know. See what I'm saying. Tupac. You know. he mm, He'll tell you what he going to do. But he don't necessarily show it to you on front street. You just had to be a fly on the wall. And the person experiencing all that good love. And he was trying to thrust upon that female. Okay. And let her tell the tale. Okay. But I, I, I just. Ooh. I just don't see it. Lord. I just don't see it. I mean. I can see her getting her pleasures. And her tooting her horn. But. All right, brother, what are you really getting from this? Is the money, honey? Is it the money? Money, 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 money. Mm-mm. Money. Yes, honey. I, I, I don't know. Is it the prestige? Is it the, is the door she can open up for you? Because you damn sure could open up no doors for Tupac. Because Tupac would put, smash them doors down himself. And I think she just wanted to be in his uh, entourage or on his arm as his candy. You know, but she had a little freak side to her. So I, I'm not really sure. They both could have uh, matched each other with. You know what I'm saying? They both complimented each other if they were to have stayed together. But he was like, he didn't want to mess her up. <laughs> bring her down okay so he stepped away from her yes and it was a long thought out letter a love letter to her about how he wished they could have made it into something serious but you know the, the timing wasn't right and what he was going through and what she was trying to uh, do with her career he didn't want to mess it up for us uh, that's the gist that i got out of it but i'm like i, I don't know he giving me i don't know what is he giving me y'all he giving me some kind of afrocentric type of tease of a magician and i i can't tell you um damn i can't think of somebody it's i see them pictured in my mind but i can't remember or think of the artist that i'm thinking about um and i'm, I'm telling you, i'm gonna think of it after i complete this video i'm gonna think of it but i'm trying to think of, it was lisa bonet's husband I think, or the person she was, uh, Lenny Kravitz. That's what I'm thinking about. He giving me Lenny Kravitz tease with his whole look and demeanor. Uh, what's his name? Uh, start with an M. Not music soul child, but it, damn, it's somebody else. Uh, can't think of his name anyway, but we're going to go with Lenny Kravitz. That's kind of stuff he's giving me. So I don't know what kind of tease Madonna's getting off him or what he's getting off Madonna. But I'm sure it has to be monetary and influences. She can definitely uh, uh, get him in the doors of the music industry or where he's trying to be. Because like I said, he is a dancer. Who knows? He might be a, 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 a music artist as a singer as well. But he's young in the game. He kind of reminds me of Jada Pickett's son, uh, Jaden. 
uh yeah on that photo and i'm like that's a shy cry far from tupac shakur okay i mean tupac was all man manly man you know what i'm saying and woo-hoo, okay even get me to shaking right now but you know like i said papa was a rolling stone just like ti over there was a little rolling stone uh trying to make well i'll take it back because um uh tupac i mean uh ti wasn't as charismatic as uh tupac was he has to kind of like buy women and, and, and flaunt his wealth and, and make you want to fall in love with him. You know, that's what I'm talking about, T.I. But Tupac, you just wanted to just be around him just because. You know what I'm saying? And him dropping wisdom on you nuggets or just listening to his conversation or how he um, dialogued and how he thought about issues that you wouldn't thought he would have had a care of a world about. You know what I'm saying? But he was just an impressive brother. But anyway, uh, yeah. Let me see here. Where am I going with this? Okay, I'm just all over the place and going nowhere, right? Okay, but we're going to go back to popular superstars. I told y'all my opinion. I took 20 minutes to try to discuss and give you some similarities and some comparison to what is she trying to do. We know she had the love for Tupac, but now she have a love for this 25-year-old. That's, ooh, child. Just the the 36-year difference is just getting me. And I'll tell you, he still kind of looked like he was shaved some of his hair. looking like Jada Pickett's son. Uh, Jaden, but anyway, it goes in to say, uh, Amy Rose was the art uh, was the artist or uh, article journalist that presented this piece to us from popularsuperstars.com. She's working over there with them, bringing out this uh scandalous type story. I wouldn't say it's salacious; I say it's more scandalous. Okay, for her to be doing this with this younger man. Okay, but she titled her article as Madonna. Met her 25-year-old boyfriend, Ala Malik Williams' parents, and said she's seriously in love. Okay, at her age of 61, I guess she would be seriously in love because ain't too many people knocking down her door, especially not no 25-year-old. Okay, but going back to the article that wasn't in her article that was just my pun it said it looks like things are getting serious in the queen of pops relationship because madonna just met her 25 year old boyfriends ala malik williams parents and guess what she's seriously in love according to his father not only are they an item but also she also madonna dropped the l word meaning she loves the young man this doesn't mean that they are rushing to the altar please don't let it be rushed that's just my pun intended please don't let it be rushed all right it says stay with us to find out what happened we move on to page two of the article it says madonna 61 and her boyfriend who is 36 years old her junior will for a uh, photograph leaving new york's jfk airport to go to england london england as that then the maldives models where they uh spent the holidays with her kids uh, we also reported that Alan Malik's father Drew, a Dro, spilled that his that spilled that he told his son, "Love doesn't have an age range when you're consenting adults." Well, I'm just sure, Dad, and this is my pun intended, not in this latest article. You must want some money from Madonna, or what favor she can throw your way to make you live a happy and ever after life also okay i'm just saying i'm just saying going back to the article article though it's saying despite madonna being two years older than him okay two years older than malik's dad now what they tell you okay he might want to get in the sack with madonna if she would allow him that's just my pun intended not in this article okay um despite madonna's being two years older than him and six years older than his mother okay mm-hmm. madonna's just older than all his him meaning the boy as well as the parents ain't that ain't that too fit to be tied child please okay but moving on to page three of this article it said if that wasn't enough drew came back to fill us in on some other details according to him his son has been dating madonna for a little over a year the two officially met in 2015 after he auditioned for madonna's rebel heat tour another insider claims that she personally picked him out of the large group i bet she did she saw nothing but eye candy eye candy eye candy okay she made 
he may possibly made her feel like a woman again okay natural woman in my aretha franklin voice woman. okay Anyway, it says Drew says that they first met the megastar in September in New York City after one of her shows. They met again last month at one of her Seasons Palace shows where her personal chef cooked them dinner. Okay, moving on to page four of that article. It says the proud papa went on to say, My son is living la vida loca. I know he is. Living la vida loca. Yes, but I'm Madonna's money because he ain't got no claim to fame. She's showering him with in and everything she can probably put at this brother probably don't buy him an automobile probably don't buy him his own pad probably don't buy him oh all kinds of labels of apparel out there okay and introducing him to a lot of industry people okay is she turning him out big time yes she is okay now that wasn't in the article that's all my sidebar going back to the article um it says uh i'm just happy for him we also learned that madonna has invited them to show uh to shows in london and france set to begin in early 2020 and the parents have already booked their flights i'm sure because they probably already got madonna's permission and her credit card to pay for them flights all right just saying not in this article just my mouth speaking okay but not everyone is as happy as the williams parents okay and we're gonna go to the last part of this uh, five piece article she wrote uh, it says social media is accusing madonna of buying her new boo and his family by showering them with one in a lifetime trips but it doesn't come as a surprise over the last decade all but one of madonna's men have been older than her okay and they probably were in the industry as well maybe a movie star maybe was it sean penn she was married too i can't remember but you know yeah, she don't have her uh, share of younger men, men uh, close to her age and a, a little older than her. Okay, but Ala Malik just seems to be the youngest one of them all. So that was a conclusion. That was the conclusion of Amy Rose's article she put out. Um, as I guess an independent contractor writer for popularsuperstars.com and and her title again was Madonna met her 25 year old boyfriend Ella Malik's Williams parents and said she's seriously in love nah he may be fascinated or well, let's just give it to him let's say he is in puppy love with her meaning Madonna but I think it's more so the f dad of Malik's as well as the mother just going along because it just might be her custom but to be totally submissive to her husband and his desires and needs that they're going to run this rag and it's kind of fitting to say it's almost like this R. Kelly that's going on in the public as we continue to see it's uh debankment this bockleness everybody rebutting everybody refuting everybody recanting um their statements as well as their viewpoints on what R. Kelly is going through but it seems like it's kind of the same thing. Is Madonna doing the same thing? Isn't she not robbing the cradle? Why we don't have her up on charges? You know what I'm saying? But it just is what it is. Now, those two, could they have been a force to be reckoned with? Tupac and Madonna? Yes, I really do think so. Because they even tried to put Michael Jackson up there one time as dating her and them becoming an idol. But I, I don't think um, Michael could have handled Madonna and all her salacious scandalous ways okay but Tupac was all about that life he probably could have taught Madonna something if he didn't already teach her anything before he went to jail okay but um it's just a strange set of incidents and, and situations and concerns that I have with this particular uh matchup you know with her being 61 and him being 25 that's just a large large uh age group gap even if it was flipped on the other um uh, scene where the man was uh much younger than the woman i would still feel the same way what can really be taught here what could really be taught but uh y'all get down in them comments y'all let me know what y'all thought about this situation where a 25 year old is dating a 61 year old and they are halfway looking like um uh, they got two foot in the grave you know what i'm saying and wh what are you going to be the caretaker what are you going to be the caregiver uh mr malik i, I don't understand because the age is very well telling even on y'all facial 
expressions. So I, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused, but it seems like the parents are pretty much selling off Malik uh, for Madonna's pleasures and anything she can get from the young man as throwing him all the fame and fortune in front of his face but not really thinking about his longevity. She's just self-serving and she's getting the parents' permission as well as seems like they got it even though that's not needed and warranted because he is over age. He is a consenting adult but it just is what it is. You know, it kind of disturbed my spirit and it still disturbed my spirit but it just is what it is. I'm I'm uh, uneased at the situation and I may be looking at it at the wrong way or the wrong eye lenses or whatever so y'all get in those comments and tell me what y'all thought about this uh union together with this young man and this older woman uh trying to solidify themselves as one as a couple but you know like i said they are just really cohabitating they ain't really in the mix of there's a marriage license there are prenups going on this that and the third so i'm pretty sure he's bought and paid for he's liking it but what's going to happen when he don't want her no more is she going to go into a rampage and, and seek revenge and all of this i mean can she tear down his career as quickly as she built it up for him i mean he is her backup dancer i don't know if he's been promoted to a singer now or he's her pr person i i just don't know okay or he's just her lover <laughs> what is it y'all tell me but other than that i will see y'all next video y'all be blessed and stay breezy bye bye Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share and like my videos. Okay, now I'll say goodbye. Bye.